Do you currently use JotForm Sign and need to track the signing process of other parties? Let me show you how. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And as you can tell, I am already in my signed documents up here in the top left-hand corner, my signed documents. And I would like to track the signing progress of this very first sample agreement that I have. So as you can see, when you hover over on the right hand side, we can head to our sign inbox. So just like our submissions for our forms, our sign inbox captures and houses every single one of our signatures and where it is in the process. So as of right now, we are in this very first tab called all documents. So this is where every single signed document that I have sent of this sample agreement is going to live. Now, if we head across the top, we can see we have waiting for my signature, waiting for others, completed, canceled, and declined. So if we jump to waiting for my signature, we get these three buttons across the top. We can either cancel the document, we can send a reminder email, or we can download signed documents. So as of right now, if we look right below, we see that these three people it's just been sent. None of them have been signed yet, so we are unable to download any of the signed documents. Now, if one of them had been signed, we would be able to download, but since no one has signed yet, that button is going to be a little grayed out for us. Now, if we jump to the next tab, waiting for others, we have those same three buttons at the top. We have cancel, send reminder email, and download signed documents. And again, none of these have been signed yet, so it's still a little bit grayed out. Next up, if we head to completed, you can see that we no longer have that cancel email or the reminders because one, it's all been signed, so it can't be canceled after the fact. And because we don't need to send any reminder emails, those buttons are no longer there, but we do have the download button now because we can see all three of them have been signed. If we jump to the next tab, canceled, Again, the same logic applies. We can't cancel the document because it's already canceled. We are going to send reminder emails because it's been canceled, but we can download showing that none of them have been signed. And then the last one is going to be the declined option. And this is where any of your declined signatures are going to live. So over on the right hand side, we can see that we can download this, but we can see who has signed and who has declined. Now, the great thing about each one of these documents is it comes with an audit trail. So if we scroll down just a little bit, we see right down here, it's going to automatically have the title of the document, the document ID, how many pages are in the document, the status and the time zone. Then underneath that, we have the document history to let us know when and where this document was. Now, another way that we can track individual documents is from the sign builder. So I'm gonna head back over to our sign inbox up here at the top and let's go to our sign documents. Then using that same sample agreement up at the top, I'm gonna head over to invite to sign because this is going to take me to the send tab of the builder. And we can see all right here, which ones have been declined, sent, completed, and canceled. And if we need to do any tracking of that, all we have to do is click this track button and it takes us right back over to our sign inbox. But it's as simple as that. If you have any other questions about tracking or viewing the progress of your signed documents, definitely let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.